In this video, we talk about scopes, counter cache, and filtering. And you also get to see a preview of my community site. All right, guys, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you something uh, that I just learned. And I wanna give a big shout out to Chris Oliver uh, over at GoRails for uh, helping me figure this out. Um, I was stumped with it for a while, but uh, he showed me the light and now um, I'm going to pass it on to you. So what I wanted to do was for my community site, um, I wanted to have a filtering between uh, the latest post, unanswered uh, post, and active. So unanswered would be um, with zero replies and uh, active would be like five or more. Um, so right now these are just stubbed out they uh, don't actually do anything so i'm going to show you how to set that up first we're going to create a um, counter cache on our uh, forum thread to cache the number of forum posts on each thread um, and then we are going to do a migration to add the um, forum post count um, to the uh, forum thread table so let's get started let's open up sublime text i'm going to open up the forum post so what I'm going to do is belongs to form thread. I'm going to add a flag here and say counter cache uh, true. Whoops, true. All right, so the next thing we need to do is run our migration. So what um, we're going to do is add a forum post count to our uh, form threads table. And to do that, we'll do rails generate migration, add underscore forum post count to forum forum threads. Um, and just so you guys know, I have a uh, forum posts model as well as a forum thread model. So all we are doing is running or adding a the count of the forum post to the forum thread. Um, and then from here, let's do forum post count is an integer. Um, I'm not going to do that uh, just because I already ran, ran this migration and it will throw up a conflict error for me, uh, but just hit enter. And then once you go back to that, open it up in um, Sublime, open up the migration. Um, and then at the end, so we're gonna be adding a column to the form threads table, which is we're adding the form post count, which is an integer, uh, be sure to add this line right here, uh, default uh, is zero. So comma, default, uh, hash rocket, zero. And that makes sure a new form thread has a default of zero posts um, in it. Um, go back to your terminal and do rake db colon migrate. All right, um, obviously I didn't um, have anything come up because I've already ran this migration. All right, so if we jump into our Rails console, you can see if I do um, form thread, form thread dot connection. All right, forum thread. You can see the forum post uh, count is now added to the uh, table as an integer, which is exactly what we want. So the next thing we want to do is create three different scopes for our th uh, form thread. So I'm going to hop into uh, my application in Sublime. So I'm gonna go into app models and then the form thread model. Then down at the bottom, let's create a scope for our recent active as well as the unanswered questions. So we're gonna do scope recent and then we are going to uh, order created at descending. And then scope, whoops, of active. All right, scope active, we are going to do uh, scope of where the forum post count is greater than or equal to uh, five. And then another one, scope, if I could type, of unanswered. And then I will do where forum post count um, is zero. So I'm just gonna line these up so it looks a bit nicer. All right, so the next thing we need to do is 
create some routes for these scopes. So let's open up the routes.rb file. And then inside the resources form threads, uh, we're gonna create a collection. So do collection, do, and then inside that collection, we're gonna do get recent, get um, active, and get unanswered. So we'll save that. And if you go to your terminal, you get out of the console, run rake routes. Whoops. Rake routes. There we go. You can see right here, it creates um, forum slash recent, forum slash active, forum slash unanswered. So these are the paths we are going to use inside of our views. All right, so the next thing we need to do is create um, inside of our controller, form threads, controller. So what we need to do is uh, create a uh, recent, active, and unanswered method. So recent and def um, active and then def unanswered end. So for the active, what we are going to do or for the recent, we'll do at forum threads uh, equals forum thread dot recent. And then this is grabbing the scope we just created. Um, so I'm going to copy that, paste it in, change this to active, and then change this to unanswered. Um, and since we do not want separate views for all of these, um, I'm going to throw in a render action of index. All right, so let's save that. And uh, one last thing, let's open up the index file. And you can see the link to latest unanswered active. Um, these are just stubbed out at the moment. Um, so let's go back to our terminal and grab those. So recent form threads, uh, I will change that here and I'll do path. And then the other one, active form threads uh, for the active and path. And then the unanswered form threads and add path. So now if we refresh this, let's see. All right, we are getting a syntax error, unexpected um, integer. So let's go back to Sublime and open up the form thread. Oh, okay, I think I just missed a comma between um, the count and the five. So let's refresh. All right, cool. So now if we hit um, the unanswered, oh, I am getting an error from the um, pagination gem I'm using. So I'm going to go back to our controller. So I'm going to copy the pagination. Uh, we're going to order them in descending order and then paginate uh, per page of 10. So I'm going to paste that onto these. So save that, refresh. There we go. So now we are on slash forum slash unanswered. And you can see the reply or the post with uh, zero replies shows up. Now active, did we get all of the posts with more than five replies? Um, unanswered, get zero. Latest, we get all of them in descending order. Beautiful. So everything is working correctly. Again, a big shout out to Chris Oliver over at GoRails for the help on this. It's uh, fairly simple to set up once you actually know how to go about it, but this is uh, very powerful in my opinion because you can do a lot of stuff with the various scopes. Um, so that was definitely great to learn about and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right guys, that is all for today. As always, if you have any questions, comments, anything, uh, hit me up on Twitter, it's at McKinsey Child. Uh, if you wanna follow along for more, be sure to hit that subscribe button below or sign up for my newsletter on my website at mckinseychild.me. Oh, and my community site, I'm gonna be launching it in a few weeks. Um, I'm really, really excited to uh, get that thing live and I hope to see you all there. All right, see you guys next time.